Okay, you guys, I had said that I was going to do a low buy this year, and it may not look like this is a low buy, but let me explain. Hello, my name is Vanessa, and I make videos on anything art related. A little bit of this and that. If that speaks to you, consider subscribing. Today, I would like to share with you some of the items that I got on my low buy for the month of January. This is my first art haul for this year, and so this year I had mentioned that I was going to do a low buy. Some of these items were purchased back in December during the holiday sales and they have just arrived and I also use some gift cards to make some of the purchases that I made this month. First we have some Faber-Castell Pitt Artist Brush Pins. I had hauled some of these last month and I got some more colors. This first color is Phalo Green. This is such a pretty mint-like green. Next color I have to share with you is Lilac. A very pale purple-like color. This is Phthalo Green. A nice aqua color. More on the pastel side. The last one I got from Faber-Castell is called Leaf Green. This color reminds me of a spring green. Next I hauled some colored pencils that are in neon colors. And I bought this at my local art store. This first one is neon yellow. Very bright. neon orange neon pink and this one's so fun this is like a magic pencil and it has multicolors in the lead so when you write it's unpredictable as to which color that's going to be written on the page and this reminded me of when I was a kid I used to have one so this was a nice throwback to purchase just for fun my next purchase I needed to get some masking tape for my paint that I work with in my sketchbooks so one of my art goals is to work with watercolors more this year and beef up my skills with watercolor. So I needed to get some masking tape in order to have some clean edges in my sketchbooks. So this is what I picked up on Amazon and there are different sizes here. It comes with two rolls of a half an inch, three rolls of a quarter of an inch, and then the small ones are three rolls of one eighth of an inch, so very fine and thin. This should be useful. Let's see what we have next. I have some more Stabilo pins. I had hauled some of these in December, and I do like these pins quite a bit, so I got some more at my local art store in what I think are some unique colors that are kind of on the pale and muted side so they're not bright and intense colors. I'm going to be doing a swatcheroo for you of these pins so you can see what you think. This is the Stabilo pin in 68. I believe 68 represents the type of tip this is and it's felt tip. So this is called Premier Fiber tip pins available in many brilliant colors sturdy medium tip water-based ink this medium sized tip is pretty good for filling in areas quickly and this one I'm showing you is my favorite color from the pack isn't it pretty next thing that I hauled and I purchased at my local art store are these pencil extenders now at the moment I don't have any pencils that need this tool However, I anticipate that I will need it in the near future, so I picked these up 
and I actually do not own any of these so this is my first time buying this material or supply I should say upon examining these my first impression is that they are not too heavy not too lightweight they feel like they're pretty sturdy and a good material but time will tell if these end up being good tools to have and if they last long if you've watched any of my previous art hauls you know that i have been on a kick of buying watercolor and this month I bought some more guys <laughs> this is my first time owning Rembrandt watercolors so I am excited to share these with you first color is Naples yellow red this is Aurelian ultramarine violet Permanent Red Violet Dusk Pink Napthal Red Bluish Brilliant Orange Dusk Green And that wraps up the Rembrandt watercolors. Oh wait, I forgot to share it with you. This came for free because I bought the Rembrandt watercolors on Blick and with the purchase that I made, I got a free dot card and swatch card. And in addition, I got two pieces of watercolor paper, one in white and one in black. So that's nice to have. That should be fun to swatch. But wait, there's more watercolors. We have some Art Nouveau styled watercolors from Kiritake and I had to get these. I saw some YouTubers hauling these over the last few months and honestly, I did see this on my Amazon feed before I watched the hauls. And so when I saw it and then I watched the hauls, I told myself, I gotta get it. So that's what I did. I got these beauties. I cannot wait to try these. I like the colors that it comes with and I may not paint the Art Nouveau style, although that is one of my favorite genres in art history. Um, I like the colors it comes with. So like I said, this is gonna be fun to paint with. Looks like it has some nice colors to work with along with some unique colors that I currently don't have in my watercolor collection. For this haul, I have one more watercolor palette to share with you. This is from Lucas, and this is the first time for me to buy from this brand. And in this video, I ended up swatching them for you so you can see what colors I got in this set. Here I am opening up each pan and writing down the names on the plastic pan it comes in. So I did speed up this process because it took me about 10 minutes to do all of this. And each pan is wrapped in a foil and an overlay of the information on the pigment. And they were so cute, they remind me of little chocolates. Now I made my own swatch card and so I did this beforehand before even doing the filming of this video so you will see me swatching each color right here and I'm going to start off with the yellow. It is a lemon yellow and these were very easy to wet. yellow we have in the set is cadmium yellow light this is yellow ochre and I do like yellow ochre in my sets I usually use this color for portraits or I should say mixing skin tones for portraits one of the reds it comes with is cadmium red light The 
next color we have is magenta primary and magenta is good for mixing your orange colors and some nice brilliant violet tones it is considered a primary like color since you can make some nice secondary and intermediate colors with this tone and now we have cyan which is another primary color and you can get some brilliant vibrant greens and when mixed with magenta you can get a nice violet next blue we have in this set is ultramarine light two greens this first green i believe is chromium oxide green i can't read my handwriting and i threw away the package so it's like an olive green and then the next green we have is phthalo green which is a more vibrant brighter green now we're going on to a more of a brown tone and this is English red light the next brown that we have which is a darker one is raw umber Lastly, we have Payne's Gray. I'd say this is a pretty good set with a good amount of colors to do a good painting with. First impression, I am pretty pleased with what I got and how these were able to be easily wetted to get the pigment on the paper and the colors seem to be pretty vibrant and on the darker side, not extremely transparent. Some of you might like that, some of you may not. Um, let me know if you've tried these before. Oh my gosh, we have some gouache, and this is from Daniel Smith. So I picked these up at my local art store, and as far as I know, these are new. So we have a few colors. The first one we have is Wisteria. I have this color and this one, which is lavender in the watercolor from Daniel Smith and they are some of my favorite colors very pretty and then this one is spring green lastly from Daniel Smith gouache I picked up cornacridone magenta I have yet to try these so I'll have to get back to you on how well these perform for this month's haul, I picked up one tube of oil paint and I got gold ochre. One more item to share with you and these are the Zig Kiritake Clean Color Real Brush Tip Pins. So this is in a set of 30 and they are blue and green tones. I had made a review on these colors on 120 set that I have. And if you want to learn more about those, I will link that down in the description. But spoiler alert, I love these. Definitely cannot wait to try these pins and everything that I have hauled for the month So thank you for watching. This is the end of the video and I would like to share the next video that's coming up is going to be My favorite and most used art supplies for the month of January. So that's coming up next week. So look out for that and I want to personally thank you guys so much for watching and taking some time out of your day to check out this video. I really do appreciate it. If you found this video useful and or entertaining, please give it a like. It really does help the channel out. Again, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.